hi everyone welcome again to another cleaning motivation video um today we are going to be doing extreme cleaning in this house it's monday it's after the weekend no cleaning was done the house is a total mess i won't lie to you guys i won't sugarcoat anything so i want to really focus on um cleaning the couch because it's such a mess the last time i cleaned it was like two months ago so i want to strip all the covers and vacuum under the cushions and just clean it all up and i also want to um declutter this entire space over here there's just too much going on on this side i want to declutter it i want to remove those pillows because my cats don't use them anymore i want to reorganize this place and just um you know redecorate it again i also um want to do something different with the console i um, think i'm just going to switch uh the deco around again i want to I know just organize this space a little bit more it just doesn't look well as for the dining area i'm going to remove all these shoes and have them washed i'm going to also remove the carpet i want to um wash the carpet also this console is another problem for me i want to declutter it and just um reorganize it again hopefully i'll also reorganize the artwork in the dining area um also on this side i want to add more pics on this side the ones that are there i want to switch them all to this side i also have some lights here that i want to put um in the dining and um sitting room area so i'm going to wait for my hubby to do that actually so that's what i want to do today for the kitchen it's not a mess actually the kitchen for once is just you know doing good <laughs> i only have a uh, very few dishes and very few kitchen towels that i need to wash and that's it as in i really there's just so much i need to do today hey guys so i'm excited to tell you guys that part of today's video is actually sponsored by super slick brands kindly follow them on instagram on facebook to get more information on their products so these are the products that they send to me we have their fields of africa hand wash um, they also have it in aloe vera um, scent they have a magni powerful disinfectant as you can see it's almost even over i just love to disinfect everything in my house they have a fabric softener called cuddles i also used this when i was washing uh when i wash my pillow covers you'll see um at the video they also have a scoring powder called rush this is so nice i used it on my kitchen sink and it actually restored um the shininess of my kitchen sink which is so amazing the sink was starting to lose um that metallic uh, look they also have a dishwashing soap called rush this is also very nice it smells nice it comes in lemon um scent same to the scoring powder they have a lemon scent so they also have um a color bleach called topex so this is the color bleach i really love the scent of color bleach because sometimes you can use this bleach and you don't need to use a fabric softener because it um actually really smells very amazing they also have your regular bleach also called topex so i'm so sure most of you have already come across um this bleach in your house in eh, sorry in your nearest supermarket so next they also sent the hurricane toilet cleaners which are really as you can even see without even me telling you guys the packaging is so beautiful so their uh, toilet cleaners come in this super power scent there's the lemon fresh scent and there's the pine fresh uh scent there's also the of ocean fresh scent so the thing you need to know about hurricane toilet cleaners is that they are known to kill 99 percent of bacteria effectively secondly they have a very high viscosity when you put them on the toilet bowl thing is it doesn't all disappear into the toilet after 15 minutes you'll still find the liquid there and this will make it effective for you while you're scrubbing the toilet leaving the toilet bowl much whiter than it was before so they are also very inexpensive so please go to your nearest supermarket and grab yourself a hurricane toilet cleaner they are a daily defense against stuff stains germs and odors so every day you can always put it on your bowl 
able to have a fresh sense on your toilets so one thing i want to tell you guys is that they actually have an offer in all supermarkets thing is if you buy this 500 ml hurricane toilet cleaner you get a scoring powder 500 grams absolutely free so if you go to your supermarket you get this you will get this scoring powder act super sorry for free and they are known to clean bathtubs kitchen sinks and also the toilet bowl so you can try this i, I tried it on my kitchen sink and um it was very amazing so kindly follow me on instagram i'm going to be doing a giveaway on saturday regarding the hurricane you'll get a hurricane combo uh, if you win so follow me on instagram and i'll share more details on the giveaway so these are the products that they sent to me i'm doing this review after i've used the product so i can assure you guys their products are amazing if you come across them please grab um if not all of them <laughs> make sure at least you grab the hurricane toilet cleaner for daily use you'll not be disappointed <laughs> What I did as you had discovered um, the water wasn't quite clean so I had to add um, oxy bleach uh, in the water just to clear it up and um, Topex color I like the scent of this um, color bleach and some powder soap so what I'm going to do I'm going to spin it for like um, three minutes so that everything gets um, the Topex and um, the Oxy Bleach then I'm just going to let them soak for 30 minutes then do a full cycle for 15 minutes and then I'm using gentle because of um, the zips I expect 
expected Dota the coach to be more messy than this but um, it's still okay so what I wanted to tell you guys is when you're making your couch kindly tell your fundi to put for you um, cushion lining so that you can easily remove the covers if you have a lighter shade of um, your couch like mine have, make sure that you have uh, linings under your cushion so that you can easily pull them out and wash them On my TV, I'm just using a dry serviette to uh, wipe off fingerprints from the screen. Uh, my nephew came to visit a while back, so uh, it had little fingerprints on it. So on this video, as you may have noticed, I had so much energy these two days and I was just going around the house cleaning surfaces that had not been cleaned and just dusting it off, uh, dusting off surfaces that had not uh, been dusted in a while. So there's a lot of cleaning motivation in this video. Keep watching till the end as, and also see how I further decorated the living room area. I added more yellow on the space, which is something that I've always been wanting to do, uh, to add more yellow on this space because it was uh, looking a bit um, too much gray.
to the guest uh, toilet I'm just going to remove the mats to wash them later I'm also going to wash the toilet using the hurricane superpower toilet cleaner I've not washed this toilet in like uh, three days so it wasn't fresh it wasn't um, clean so I needed to freshen things up in here So to wipe the toilet I'm going to use the Magni bathroom cleaner, it's an antibacterial germ killer. So over to the guest bathroom, I also hadn't washed this space in like a week. It had accumulated a lot of soap scum on the tiles, so I needed to wash that off and also to scrub the bathroom floors. So day two I started off by wiping out um, 
the armrest for the couch and this particular back part of the couch where everyone keeps touching when they pass by so it was starting to turn a bit brown i needed to wipe it down together with the other armrest on the other side of the couch and i also wiped down um, the window sills which were a bit uh, dusty <laughs> the kitchen I'm just washing my breakfast dishes I had already washed the other dishes I'm going to clean the cooker wipe off surfaces and scrub the sink and then finish off by just um, mopping the floors To the master bedroom I had already made my bed in the morning and I had a few laundry that I needed to put away and fold I did not plan to include this part in this vlog but all my delivery for the living room deco were all running late so I decided let me just uh, show you guys um, the whole cleaning uh, all the cleaning that I do for motivational purposes <music>
the master bathroom i'm using the hurricane lemon fresh scent to uh, freshen up the toilet and clean it a little bit um if there's a space that i'm always keeping up with is the master bathroom so all i'm doing here is just freshening things up hi everyone so we are on day three i didn't expect um this vlog to come all the way to day three i wanted to complete it yesterday but most of my deliveries were delayed so this is how my living room currently looks like i want to turn things around to decorate a few bits um of the coffee table i want to decorate the console i've actually done a bit of it i changed um the flowers that were there and added orchids and i'll link where i got everything so this is how currently the console looks like i'm still trying to figure out how to complete it as for my dining area i put back the carpet it finally dried and um i added these mats i'll link where i got them uh, i think they're called joe's mat or something sorry i'll link um the page where i got the mats they're double-sided so there's a plain yellow part and there's a printed part so i decided to put um two sides printed two sides plain so far i like them so i'm just trying to debate where everything will go these are um throw pillow covers and yeah there's there'll be no cleaning today just decorating so i'm just going to try figure out where everything will go i also want to decorate this um table it was a gift from my father actually my father gifted my husband so i really like it and um so i'm going to try to decorate it a bit so i tried decluttering this area and i think i did a pretty successful job at doing that so I'll, I'll try see how it goes as i try to figure out a tv stand for this area but so far this is how it's going to look as for the lights i talked about this yesterday my hubby fixed this um the one for the living room it has an edison bulb inside um at night it's it had such a beautiful ambience you guys it's such a beautiful lighting he's yet to fix the one for the dining area so he'll fix that in the evening also i wanted to talk about this wall i'm still trying to figure out what to do with this wall because i'm not happy with it at all but not today i'll figure out uh, what i want to do i want to 
put um, really huge artwork there a ones and a twos over there so um, it's a bit expensive so with time I'll figure out what to do there but um, for now let it just stay like that so let's get into decorating I really love how this has turned out you guys let's get into decorating the living room as you had uh, I had said earlier on uh, in a previous vlog I really wanted to add more yellow into my living room so I got a curtain from flamboyant home decor for the door as you can see my door has a black curtain and I don't like black in the living room I actually don't like black decor so I want to switch it to this one I also got some throw covers from I think it's Ushanga gosh I'll just write it down here you people so I got plain throw cover pillows and woven ones two of them these ones are pretty heavy by the way they're really pretty heavy so the woven ones went for a thousand bob this ones went for a thousand bob each this one went for 600 bob each so the only throw covers I'm planning to keep are these two this one and these other yellow ones I really want the yellow to pop in this living room so I'm going to add those ones and those ones on the dining table area and see how it looks so just to quickly explain I tried putting that curtain on the door but it looked very awkward it looked misplaced so I decided to put it in the middle of both those curtains and it really looks amazing so now it don't look misplaced at the side of the living room it will actually look like it blends with the rest of the living room 